if you come over here, you can see that um, I have a cable crossover machine, and I work in a really small space. So this is a two-car garage, and I only have the gym and the one stall of the two-car garage. So I don't have a lot of room. So all the equipment I buy has to be uh, multifunctional. It has to serve more than one purpose. So the first thing I can show you is uh, this piece right here. So. Essentially, this is just a couple of two by fours, um, one cut shorter than the other. I'll show you why here in a second. Second, some rip tape on the top, and then some angled two by fours that I cut and screwed on the sides here. And the reasoning behind that is uh, this right here. So, uh, for a seated calf raise, I mean, uh, that's you probably find a good deal on that for maybe 150 bucks or something like that. I think Titan makes one for around that price. The problem is, where am I going to put it? And I have all this equipment in here, so why not think of a way to use what I have instead of buy something else and lose a room and the money at the same, at the same time. So essentially what this does, um, a couple of different things. Like one, if I just want to do calf stretches, I can. So I can just sit on the ground, um, stretch out my calves. Um, if I want to try to do, whoop, <laughs> I almost fell over right there. If I want to try to do um, standing, I guess I should do it this way, I won't try that. I guess I could do some like standing calf raises there. Um, but really what this is for is I take it and I put it inside. These are just uh, circular ceramic magnets here. My wife's laughing at me here because I almost busted on the video. Um, this fits perfectly right inside there and I grab a bench. So this is a squat sponge that you use for putting on your barbell and you do uh, just barbell squats. My wife's like laughing at me like crazy. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm such a geek. I am a geek. I love doing this kind of stuff. So <laughs> I uh, cut a hole in the squat sponge and this is what I got. I got a, a straight bar cable attachment uh, for a row or a pull down, a small one. And then at Home Depot, just uh, a male thread, half inch to a female thread. I grinded that down, I stuck it in there, I drilled a hole through it and put a bolt. And then I used the pipe. Um, I just got a six inch pipe for that and I screwed it in there. I put a bunch of electric tape around it. And these handles right here um, were on this. So instead of having them here, I just stick it on here. That way I can have it in a vertical position when I'm using it. So what this does is I put this guy through here and I wrap this carabiner here on it. And around here. <clears throat> now I drop this to the floor and with that piece I can do seated uh, calf raises, so it's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a, a regular um, seated calf raise. It's very similar, right? So you have uh, the weight plates, or usually it's just like plates that you put on there. And then you have a little handle right here that you lock it or unlock it, and then you just do your raises, and when you're done, you gas out. When you pull the lever back over with this, I just have these to hold on to while I'm doing it and drop it down. If I want to do um, standing calf raises, that's what this section here is for. I don't have a standing calf raise machine, obviously it would be too big to fit in this little bitty garage. Um, so, kind of trying to get creative and I found this works fairly well um, for that. Essentially what I have here is a simple calf raise block. Um, so I'll just show you simulated calf raise, uh, standard calf raise machine. Um, nothing super fancy, but you don't really need anything very fancy for that. Alright, so the next thing um, is cable rows. So like I said before, on a traditional row machine, they're going to have something that comes out here. And you put your feet on it. And it allows you to get back 
away from away from the machine. So when you're doing a row on a crossover machine like what I have, you can't get that stretch. So you lock out right here. Um, you try to push back as far as you can, but now you're in a weird position and you still can't get that full stretch. So I just wanted a simple way to get back away from the machine using the same block here I use for the seated calf raise. Let's flip it around. And this here that I use for the standing calf raise just locks in here and it serves as a foot plate at a 45 degree angle. It allows me to push away from the cable machine. So now I have the same thing essentially as a regular seated row, you can see at the gym or anywhere else, where it allows you to get a good stretch in and a firm, solid foundation to push against to get those heavy rows in. You can see, I can stretch all the way if I want. I'm just horribly inflexible, so if I was flexible, I could probably reach the end, but I'm feeling very stable, no problem at all. This is plenty of support. Um, it's not, I don't feel like it's gonna slip or anything. So, essentially all this is, is two two by fours on the bottom. I'm sorry you can hear my son's tractor in the background. It's going crazy out there. So, cut it at a 45 degree angle. I got a two by 12, which is what this is. Um, all the way down, you can see it here in the back. Cut it at a 45 so it sits at an angle flush with the ground. And then I got this two by four cut short here at a 45, which puts this whole thing at a 45. Um, and then I just got a, let's see, a 12 by 24 inch piece of diamond plate from Lowe's and I sanded down the back of it to rough it up a little bit and I just used some construction adhesive and clamped it on there for 48 hours and it's solid, it ain't going nowhere. And the back of it is a 2x6, it goes right across those 2x4s. It gives it um, some stability. It doesn't flex or bend at all. Um, and I can use it for like standing calf raises like I showed you a little bit ago. And then this right here is simply just grip tape that you can get at Home Depot Lowe's anywhere. Uh, these pieces right here. That's it. Until next time.